wanted to know how I did the electro etching. Two batteries. Um, they say 16 ounces of water. And then it was recommended to use um, kosher salt. Um, it was like uh, five, what did I write it? For 16 ounce water, they said use five ounces of kosher salt. <clears throat> then uh, I found out why the power adapter wasn't all that great. If it'll do it. Alright. Uh oh. There it goes. Um. The other videos show. Output you want 12 volt. And then. The little line with the dots below it. Means direct current. And this one was only at 250 amps. Or milliamps. Where I wanted at least one amp. That's why the uh, the Colt logo and all that good stuff took forever and a day, and the batteries did better. But I'll show you how to do it with the battery. Because <clears throat> it, it's the same way with the power adapter. You just got to confirm. I thought, hey, it's a power adapter. Um, yeah, it should be good to go, right? Nope. I was wrong. So, uh, this one, the negative is that one, positive is that one, so, shit. Black negative. Red to positive. So your positive line is going to go onto the receiver. Then using the Q-tip, I already did the little stencil from Dogfight. Um, yeah, it's not straight or anything, but I don't care. This is the lower that I jacked up for the uh, safety selector. All you do is just dip your Q-tip in the salt water. Um, it's pretty, pretty warm water, so that way the salt will um, dissolve. Then, on the wet part of the Q-tip, as you can see there, all you're going to do is just start going over it slowly. Now, you sh should hear like bubbling, and then the other key thing, it's going to turn black. Now, if you're using a power adapter... If you don't know what negative or positive is, if your Q-tip does not look like that, that means you have your leads wrong. I wish I would have saved the other one and my thing just fell off. So, I don't know how well I'll be able to do this one-handed. So that way, you guys can, can see it better. Let's 
see how it's turning black. Now I'll we'll run over the safety part. Oop. See all the little bubbles? You might see a little bit of like the slight smoke, and it's not doing it. Hold on. <clears throat> I got a little bit too much water. See how it's bubbling? See, that's correct. If the leads would have been crossed, the uh, discoloration would have went closer to where the leads connected to the Q-tip. And if you use a power adapter, that's how you'll know if you're correct. Let's see if I can actually zoom in on this. <clears throat> yeah, trying to do this one hand, it sucks. All right. There we go. We got bubbles. You can actually see like the metal in the bubbles, like the discoloration come up into the Q-tip. It's kind of cool. Don't worry about the discoloration because whenever you're done, all you have to do is just take a, <clears throat> you know, the little green or blue little spongy things for like washing dishes or whatever and uh dawn soap and just clean it right off came off pretty easy i think i did an order see you see how nasty that is but that's a nice little quick thing <clears throat> um, alligator clips I found at Harbor Freight and um, the, the 9 volt batteries so and then just to show you uh, where to go I don't know where it went but you can see how deep that is and that was using the 9 volt yesterday. And I did six, uh, I think like six or seven slow passes over it. And uh, I found out on the ease, especially, you get better results if you uh, trace the, uh, the letter. Because I found out on... This one, the E's didn't come out all that great at all. But there you go.